Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Antti Tarot. Today we're doing your love reading for August 2021. Um, these cards fell out in the pre-shuffle. You guys had two, uh, you guys had Ace of Cups fell out two times. So it's like there's a new love, there's a new beginning. But there, it looks like there's also an ending because I kept on shuffling, shuffling, and putting it back, and then I keep getting, and then I try a new deck. So Three of Swords came out, and then Death came out, and Three of Swords came out a couple of times. So there is an ending. You guys um, have just gone through or are going through a heart, a heartbreak, pain, shock, ending. There is uh, a judgment card as well. So you guys had like a wake up call. Like a, I'm seeing like a, a bucket of ice water thrown at you. Like it, something happened that really shocked you. Like the ice cold water just shocked the crap out of you. And it, it, it opened you right up. It's like a major wake up call and transformation ending. Um, which caused heart heartbreak and I'm feeling that well not only feeling but there was um, there the threes came out a lot so for some of you it may have been a third party situation there may have been some deception some disloyalty behind your back because we had the seven of swords as well and then bottom of this stack we have the full new beginnings so you guys are starting anew because you guys had Ace of Cups and then you have the Fool and then Wheel of Fortune. So it's definitely a change for you guys. However things have been, um, things are changing, changing in your world, changing in your life. So change is in inevitable, but there is a definite change and some of you may have already experience a change if not the change is coming but it is a destined change but with that change you are, you guys will get a new love and a new beginnings so that's based on just the cards from the pre-shuffle so i wanted to share that because it kept coming out i didn't want to be the bearer of bad news so i kept putting it back and reshuffling and it kept coming out so i'm like okay i have to share this message so this is a general reading. Of course, it's not going to resonate for all Sagittarius. But So we have the Hermit card. That came out a lot, too, in the pre-shuffle in a different deck. In a different deck. So you guys may be in isolation, spending some time alone. Like this lady, the energy from this card, I guess, is like, it's just devastated. Heartbroken. Just wanted to spend time alone, be by herself. It's like she needs this cane to help her stabilize her, ground her, support her. It kind of, you know, knock you off your feet. There may be a water sign involved, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Look, you guys, Tower, as I was saying, knock you off your feet tower so you guys experience a tower moment nine of swords major stress anxiety restless sleepless night and five of swords yeah definitely fighting because we had seven of swords we had five of swords conflict lots of fighting arguing and then we had temperance a couple times as well trying to heal and balance but you guys will rise again. This reminds me of the phoenix rising from the ashes. Yeah, five of pentacles. This came out in the pre-shuffle as well. Um, financial loss, being left out in the cold. Or feeling like it was so cold what the other person did. Like heartless cold. Yeah, we have the star, wish fulfillment, healing from the universe, and then nine of pentacles. That came out for you guys 
and they're pretty shuffled a couple times as well. So independence, independence, freedom, you guys are going to be free. We have Ten of Cups, perhaps a breakup of a family or free from a family or free from family obligations because we have the Ten of Wands, which is heavy burden obligations. Yeah, wa leaving, walking away, being free, being independent from um, obligations, responsibility, heavy, heavy burden. All right. What else, Spirit for Sagittarius? What else is going on for Sagittarius and love for August 2021? What do Sagittarians need to know? We have High Priestess. So something it was hidden. All right, it was hidden, but you guys didn't see it. Can't, couldn't believe it. Couldn't fathom it. All right, the Empress. The Empress came out a couple time too. So you guys could be birthing something new or some of you may be literally pregnant and gonna have a baby or if not you're gonna birth something new a new life a new project a new reality perhaps for yourself what is this the hierophant this one is the Buddha, though. Some of you may go into meditation and become... Um, it reminds me of this hermit card. Just, you know, being alone, meditation, pray, being, uh, going within, connecting with yourself, being more spiritual, going within more. All right, so I think I'm done with this deck. Yeah, just a lot of alone time, just reflecting, a lot of reflection time, reflecting on your life, your life up to, until this point so far, where you've been, where you are now, where you're heading to, where you want to head to, sort of one of those, um, as I say that, look, this guy's also looking out, one of those contemplation moment, you know, in life where it's like, questioning things, on, reflecting on things, who am I, where have I been, what's my life about, what do I want it to be, like deep philosophical, those type of moments, justice. So there will be justice for you guys. That's interesting. We have four of cups twice, four of cups and four of cups. Some of you may be feeling a little depressed or not kind of like blah you know not interested in life for the moment you know when you something hit you and you're so in shock like you just I guess depression is the right word for that five of pentacles again we had that in the other deck didn't we yep yeah two five pentacles being left out in the cold. Financial loss or financial worries. Twice. Here, here we have it again. Heartbreak. You guys are going through a major heartbreak. Page of Sores. Messages. And here's that heavy burden card I was talking about. Yeah. Quick movements. So things are changing. Remember the Wheel of Fortune? Things are moving. Look. It was a toxic connection. Imbalance. Toxic. The word psychotic comes to mind. I don't know if 
it's related or not, for some reason that word just popped into my mind. Very negative, toxic connection. Less of fighting as well. Four of movement. Moving away from this nightmare. Yeah, you guys may be going through a legal, dealing with lawyers, legal, um, you know, courts, things like that. But you guys are healing and balancing and your angel, your guys are, are there for you and with you. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Cutting through all that crap, clearing. Yeah, fast, fast, fast movements. Things are going fast. Yep, it's going to be a quick ending. Definitely an ending. All right. It's so similar to the reading I had last night for Capricorn. Where, you know, it's it feels like so permanent. Except with them, it's like they, they, they made like a final decision with you guys. It just feels like shock. Capricorn's reading, the Capricorn felt more in control. Where with your energy, the reading here, it feels like you guys are just in shock. Still trying to bounce back from the shock that you know balance that's why we have that balance all right let's see what are the feelings what is this a shame yeah someone's a shame perhaps that's them feeling a shame irritated annoyed aggravated bothered so this may be you guys irritated. And we have vulnerable as well. Defenseless, unprotected, helpless. I don't know if that applies to you or not though because that was a, one of the last cards from the other reading I had. Resistant, embarrassed, guilty. Someone's feeling guilty. Empower. This is you. Powerful, capable, strong. Because we have the strength card in Encourage. I think even though this shocked you, Sagittarius, going forward, you will create a new life for yourself. And you'll be surprised. You'll be happy and independent. And start, start anew. You may feel a little overwhelmed during the process. But I feel that you guys will have a new start and a new love, a new life, new energy coming in for you guys. Look, bottom of the deck, unconditional love. I didn't shuffle. That That's just something that told me to look. Yeah, and fulfillment. I think you guys will be fine, even though you may not feel it <coughs> right now. Yeah, see, romance. Yeah, there's an, um, it was a karmic relationship. It's, it, it was, it ending is, is a destined ending. Meaning in the whole big picture, it was, uh, it's, it's your spiritual contract with that person for it to end at this time. And going for you have a new love, a new romance where it's it's all of this unconditional love, fulfillment, and romance. At the top of the deck we have separation, and at the bottom of the deck we have attraction and union. All right, so. This is telling me, you guys, yeah, we have soulmate. So your soulmate is coming in, Sagittarius. You saw that devil card, so that was a toxic um, connection that needed to end. You guys may not want to hear that right now because you're still healing from it and perhaps may still be attached, but when you look back, 
you know, two years, five years, ten years from now, you may say, hey, I'm glad. I'm glad that ended. I'm glad I'm no longer with that person. You know, hindsight, right? All right. Any final messages, Spirit, for Sagittarius? Anything else they need to know? Justice. Okay, so this is like the third time or fourth time, including pre-shuffle, that justice have come out. So Spirit wants you to know that there will be justice. And we have ten of pentacles, so that's family, solid foundation. Yeah, bottom of the deck is death. So there's, there's a death to this situation. Perhaps you even have a family with this person. Or there's a family. But there is an ending to the family. There is justice. And Ace of Swords. Justice, clarity, truth. Yep, completion. We have two major arcana card, death and the world. Yeah, stand your ground. There's regrets. Either you're feeling regrets or they, because we have regrets in the pre-shuffle as well. So somebody's really feeling remorseful, regrets, sorrow. Let's do final surrender cards to see. This card, Surrender, Frustration. Any other cards for Sagittarius Spirit? Surrender, Comparisons with Other People. Bottom of the deck, Surrender Your Ego. So have faith and trust. Things will flow well and you'll have a new beginning after the separation, transformation, ending. And a new love is coming in for you guys. So something positive to look forward to, even though you may not feel like it at the moment. All right, Sagittarius, I hope that was helpful and useful to you guys. I hope it resonated. Wishing you all the best. Love and light to you, and I will catch you again in the next video. Bye.